So for this part of the video, I kind of wanted you to see me like this. I wanted to do no voiceovers, just be Gina or G. Maselli. I'm going to cut that out. Just G. Maselli. Either way, guys. So for my Mask Mondays, it's not just only going to be about mask on your hair, but also the mask on your face. So before we get into the whole mask on the face, I wanted to talk about a little bit of the mask that I'm using today yes today so you guys know I love diva curl so why not start off with a diva curl mask and guys I'm gonna be as honest as I possibly can because this is the first time I think I'm using this product I don't think my hairdresser used this on me because the smell the texture mm, no so sorry I had to reach over the mask that I'm using today is diva curls deep sea repair seaweed straightening mask you guys see it Ooh. So, first review, the smell, honestly, I'm really big on scent when it comes to masks. Like, I want my hair to smell good during my mask, after my wash, like, the whole nine yards. I would rate this for, like, a smell, four, five. It doesn't smell bad, it's just, I, I don't know. The good thing about this product is that it is sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. It states it here. You guys probably can't see it. And honestly, I got it at my where I get my hair done because of the fact that it is for chemically treated hair and over processed hair. And I really thought this was gonna be like a 10 for me. I'm giving it right now a five and I'm gonna wait to once I wash it off to see how it is. But so far, putting it on, I actually put it on in the shower because I feel that from your mask, your hair needs to be completely wet. And I know it's a 10 if I could take the mask, right? And then finger detangle it in my hair. After going to Curls Fit, which I do have a video for that, I noticed that I don't really need to use a comb to finger detangle my hair. So with this product, maybe it's because my hair is really dry and damaged. Well, no, it's not damaged, it's over processed. I really had to massage it in and it just took a while. Like it didn't give me the slip that I thought it was going to give, especially for being diva curled. And I'm surprised because online, out of five stars, it has a 4.5. So I was expecting like bomb ass results. But let's see, I think if my hair doesn't come out the way I want it to, I might just mix it with this. With the Diva Curl Hair in Heaven. Like I either might use this as a leave-in for my hair because when I bought this at the Diva Curl event, which is another video I need to make on meeting the Villa Glam Cat, I got 20% off. So I actually bought two bottles of this beautiful thing. And they told me that you can actually leave it overnight and it's the most sold product like it's their best seller and let me tell you guys the smell I think my like I think my hairstylist used this on my hair because this is literally just like the name it's heaven it's oh my god like I'm obsessed with this smell so yeah I'm just gonna leave this on I did go under the hairdryer before starting this video just for 10 minutes because I like doing that and let me just show you how it is right now so you see it's just yeah, yes guys, I know I need to do my roots. Leave me alone. My hairstyle is when I'm returning leave and my next appointment is October 20th. October 20th, if you didn't hear me. I don't want to say it too loud, but whatever. This is the fun part. So, it's Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian, eh, Indian Healing Clay. Guys, I vouch for this. I love this mask. This mask is bomb. You hear me? Bomb. That's like my word now. Bomb. So, I've used this mask only once a month, okay? I don't use it a lot because it is very powerful. Maybe twice a month if my skin's not looking good. I've been sick, so I might use it twice this month. I don't know if you guys can see, like, I've had a respiratory infection, then I got a cold, I've been sick for two days, and for anyone who wants to be a YouTuber, I just found out that I have extreme dry eyes. So for two weeks, I've just been in front of it, like, ring light, editing, my phone. Yo. But yeah, either way, back to the skin. I'm actually gonna mix this with two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. If you read the back, it says mix clay with equal parts of raw apple cider vinegar and or water. I'd rather just use apple cider vinegar. Get your money's worth. <laughs> and then add more clay or liquid as needed. Apply in one four to, well, I don't even know this, the 
Oh, whatever. It says apply to the face or other area. Let it dry 5 to 10, 15 minutes for delicate skin, 15 to 20 minutes for normal skin. If you feel pulling and tightening sensation, it's normal. Then remove clay with warm water. And that's it. Slight redness of slight redness of the face will disappear within 30 minutes. It removes impurity and then of course this is messing it up. I can't read it. Either way guys, I've used it before and yes, you do feel the pulsing and sensation but honestly, it's not that bad. I love it. Like I notice a really big difference in my skin after using this product and you guys will too. Like literally, it's heaven in a bottle just like heaven in hair from Diva Girl. Yeah, I'm corny like that. Either way, this, if you haven't heard about this, go get it. Go get it. And that's why I'm doing a review. But also because my skin needs it. So, yeah guys, let's get started. So, that was my little opener. And if you guys are wondering why I'm having this little robe on like this, my mom gave me this robe when I first moved out on my own. Yes, I moved out and I moved back in home. Long story, we'll talk about that later. Either way, she gave me this robe because this was the first robe she had when she moved to the States. And she was like, oh, since you're moving on your own, how about you get the good luck robe? I'm like, good luck. So she's had this for like 20 years and as you can see, it has ladybugs. So I thought, hmm, I want to start doing Mask Monday with robes on. I want to feel comfortable. I want to let you guys in, be a little bit more intimate and personal. <laughs> so yeah, guys, it's for my first YouTube video. I thought, why not use this for good luck? So, let's see how many views I got. <laughs> I already began to apply the mask, but wanted to demonstrate that I use a makeup brush instead of my fingers because underneath our bed nails, there's a lot of bacteria and it defeats the purpose of the mask. Also, I do apply this to my neck because a lot of people forget that the first sign of aging not only shows on your face, but also to your neck. And we have to show that area love, especially as we get older. It's another problem area that we have to work on. So that's my tip. Apply to your neck. Show some love. All right, guys. So I took off the face mask. I forgot to literally show you when I um, when it was dry. I actually left it off for more than 20 minutes. So I ran and just like, oh my God, I need to take this off. My mom reminded me. Since I had some left over, I put on on her. And she has actually sensitive skin and as soon as she took out she's like i feel like i had to hydrate my face i do feel tingling over here and i can see it's red that's normal after 30 minutes it is gonna go away so the next thing i do when i use this i would actually put on a toner and then my moisturizer but since i have to go back in the shower even though i just took a shower i just like you know i like the whole feel of like washing my hair so i don't mind going back in the shower what i'm gonna do now is actually tone my face and i'm going to use sorry Rose Petals Rose Water Facial Toner from Heritage Store. I love this. Okay, this is a hydrating hy hyaluronic acid. It refines and refresh for a youthful complexion. So since my face feels dry, and as you can see, I still have a little bit of redness in my neck, I'm just gonna use this just, you know, to refresh it a little bit, and then take a shower, put it on again. I don't mind doing this twice, and then put on my night cream, which I will show you guys in another video. Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, guys, as you can see, I took the mask out. I'm giving it a five. Like, it's just, as I've used protein mask before, I always go in with a hydrating mask afterwards or a hydrating leave-in or something like that because protein mask can also, you know, since, I don't know, I just know that for certain protein masks, I use like Nexus or um, Apple I go with a hydrating conditioner. So I'm guessing maybe this is just like that where you have to go to a hydrating conditioner. Maybe once I style, it'll be different. Like it does look shinier, yes. It just feels hard. Maybe, I don't know, like I applied it the right way. I applied it when my hair was drenched wet and I tried finger detangling with it and it just, it didn't give me that slip. I know Diva Curl on their website, when you click on that link, will click on that product specifically. They have how to use this product for your type of curls. And I'm, I did the same thing as Mahogany Curl. She was a girl used for the super curly hair because this product's actually recommended for all hair types. No, I think I'm gonna go in with the Heaven and Hair and just see how that goes. So continue watching. So the mask didn't really do much for me other than just give me shine. I just had to go in with my heaven and hair which gave it an amazing slip and it smelled great i rate that product a 10 
And then I went in with my Archangel gel. I just styled as regular and the look came out what I think amazing. So I do recommend to have it in hair, not so much the seaweed mask. My loves, thank you for tuning in to this week's first Mask Mondays, not only for your hair, but also for your face. I hope you guys enjoyed the recommendation I gave and stay tuned for next week's video. This is literally second day hair. Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> So yeah, it's a little bit short, but I will be dropping the video soon on Curls on Fifth, like I mentioned before. But please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, support your girl, and also stay cute, stay curly, stay positive. Bye!